Good morning, everyone. This is Shauna, and I'm here today with another video in the Bob and Nikki series discussion. We're now up to book 15, Admiral Bob. And this is the cover. You can see Bob on the left side and Topper on the right. So in this book, um, pretty much the opening here is that um, Bob's been taking these courses that Sally's been making him take. And we don't know totally why, but we know that um, she's been preparing him for something. And it turns out that she's been uh, giving him lessons in how to deal with people from the Commonwealth. And so there's courses that he's going to continue to take. Um, but Topper in the process gets promoted. Bob gets promoted to Admiral Topper, um, who's his commanding officer, gets promoted to captain of the Gene Cernan as Bob's flagship captain. So he's now the commander of the Gene Cernan. And most of the book focuses on Bob's um, attempts to sort of get used to that and take fleet simulation courses, things like that. But this book focuses, it's a lot of um, think domestic issues in space. This is pretty much what this book is. This is another um, transitional book in the series because it, Bob's been. Um, doing his thing with Bob Saucer Repair for about a year now, a year and a half, actually. And um, this marks a change in how things will be run. And there's now there's another uh, group of, group of um, creatures. There's the half squatch people. And um, the issue here is that the um the half squatches are still continuing to heal on the planet um and so um the group the the half squatch group that we met in the last book with fumble who is no longer um walking badly but has the same name fumble his mother abel and then his um siblings waddle and sit as well as their great grandpa thump are um our characters that we follow off and on throughout the book sit comes out of the box she now has legs um and she's learning how to use those legs um but it's confirmed in this book that the squirrel from a thousand years ago did have um, something to do with the half squatch situation there. Um, so um, they did find the ship and there were no survivors there. Um, right, to, to aid Bob in his recreational pursuits now that he's admiral and doesn't have as much to do on board ship the um, scotty gives him a checkerboard so he has a checkerboard and the sally and the bots give him a pool table and they install several other pool tables on board also so now we have that um Bob also on one of his Murphy walks, which are still happening, um, Bob finds Matt and Waddle, a Matt, the the Rue character, um, Joe's Joe's son and um Waddle, Abel's uh <clears throat> I think it's her her uh, smallest son they're out and they try to ambush Bob and they don't succeed. So Bob enrolls them in their cadet training with nine or deuce. Um, so they're the newest additions. 
to the cadet training program there. Um, then the majority of this book follows besides some of the domestic issues with some of the the swatches on Charlie's planet, which we'll come back to. The majority of this book follows the actual um, sort of unwinding of this plot by the squirrels to um, genetically engineer this race of half squatch, half human soldiers and their genetic problems that result from that. Um, they were genetically engineered to fail after a few generations and not be able to survive without help from the autodocs. And so we have this, this plot sort of unfolding. It hasn't quite um, unfolded all the way yet. And right now, Bob is keeping those suspicions to himself for the most part. Um, there's a few people on board ship that know, but that that whole thing is unwinding. And um, meanwhile, the crew has given Bob um, a new ship because obviously Ozzy's toy is the captain's uh, personal ship and that now belongs to Topper. So Bob now has a new ship called the Taz's Revenge. Um, Bucky, Steve's wife, has officially retired from the the guard at this point, so she's now free to roam the galaxy. And they send them. Uh, Bucky and Steve get married in this book. Also, um, Ricky gets married in this book to Happy. Also. Um, so we have a couple of weddings in this book and um, and Sit comes on board the crew. She's the youngest um, functioning crew member and she finds things that the others don't find. She, she sees details that they don't find and so what happens is um, they have her searching that. And so um, she finds what happens to be a shadow, which causes Max problems back on Earth because Max has some issues with the government back on Earth. And it turns out that um, Bob's mother has been captured by the government. And so as this installment comes to a close, um, the crew finds it necessary to go after Bob's mother in Nevada, but they can't really go back to her because of all the situations that have happened. So they do um, go back briefly and the book ends in the middle of that rescue kind of. Um, so she's she's been gotten, but we don't really know what the aftermath is. And that's where we are um, at the close of this installment. So we have a lot of shifts in crew relations. We have a lot of um, ramifications, which are interesting. This is probably one of the more um, overtly political books. Um, Secret Squirrels was like that too. Um, this this book is a little more overtly political because it has implications for the different races. Um, even though the feud, you know, we have the Slongham, the Slongham Rodham feud, which we think is died down because Bob's caught most of the miscreants that that are still around to start that, but we we really don't know. That's kind of died down. We have the Rongham, Slotum, Mangum feud, but then we also have now the Squirrel Squatch Commonwealth kind of issue. And so that's just brewing right now. And there's a there's a vessel out in space that um that has a bot hanging from it with 
microfiber wire, micro, I'm sorry, micromolecular wire that um, it, it killed a bot and two engineers. So there's that subplot growing too, but there's there's definite political tension that Bob has to pay attention to um, and be careful not to let it get out and how it gets out because of the ramifications for his crew. And just to go over some of the, the details, I'm going to run through something here. This is, if I come back to the book, something that features in a lot of these books is the, um, the character listing. Um, so we have the normal human characters, um, Bob and Nikki, Jimmy, Janet, Dingus, D, Joanna, um, Max. He's he's in a relationship with Gail, um, John Branham, Bonilia Slangham, Max's uh, ex-wife. Nikki's mom and Major Bill Rodham's fiance, John Branham, Jane Williams, Greg Williams, Branham, and Diego. And then we have the characters that play a little bit less um, of a role. Bucky Broncom, guidance and friend of Nikki from the Academy. Um, and she resigns her, her commission in this book. So we're going to see her role change also. Um, um, so then here we have, um, Frank is getting better, but we have all those. Then we have the squirrel characters. Um, Ricky is, like I said, Ricky's getting married to Taffy. Um, and then we have the Rue characters, Ellie, Lily, Gina, and Lita, who play less of a role in this book. Um, Matt is Joe's grandson. So Matt, the Rue, is friends with Waddle, the half splotch little boy. Um, the bots, the normal bots that we always hear about, um, and then the pets, and we have the freighters here. So, um, we have all of those characters. So that's kind of where we are, but we have a lot of, um, a lot of changes in the character dynamics. And I think that's the strength of this installment. I didn't find this installment to be quite as engaging as some of the others, um, but it is an important book for a shift in the tone of the characters. And so for that reason, I enjoy it. That's about it for this episode. If you've been following along, I'd enjoy hearing your thoughts on this installment or any of the others previously, look for another installment, Lord willing, next Sunday when we cover book 16, which, if I remember correctly, is Hoopy Doo is coming up next, okay? So I will see you in my next video soon, Lord willing. Stay safe. Enjoy your Easter holiday if you're celebrating this weekend. And I'll see you in my next video very soon. Bye for now.